Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Luna Abyss. This is a um, bullet hell first person shooter. That's really all I know about it. Um, it they did a play test a couple of months back and I did get into it, but they also mentioned that they couldn't, uh, they didn't want to like show off gameplay yet to, uh, to, you know, channels. So I didn't cover it, but I'm, I'm interested to try it now. Um, it's, uh, it looks really interesting from the uh, from the screenshots. Okay, so motion sickness. Uh, I believe this will also potentially have flashing imagery. So if you're sensitive to stuff like that, uh, maybe maybe uh, take you know don't 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 watch this. I uh, like to be sensitive to things like that. Um, let's start the demo. Let's start the demo. All right. The end only comes when you say stop. Time to wake up, little wanderer. It's time to wake up. Yeah. Almost, uh, I almost got some, like, Scorn vibes from this. Obviously not as detailed or as, um, Geiger-esque. But, uh, here, let me just make sure. Yes, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. Always grateful. Where am I? What happened to my... Oh, um... I'm always a little bit wary of like hold to to do things. I don't know why this trend must continue, but um, it's a very small nitpick. I just I've seen it so much lately that it it bothers me like immediately. Um, we've got our gun. I love the look and style of this game. They're going for something really unique here. Oh, we're like Metroid style shooting doors open. Okay. Is there anything cool over here? Just kind of like want to take in some of the uh, environmental design. It's quite, quite neat. Um, all right. So we, we got jumping very kind of low ish gravity jumping. It feels low gravity. It feels, it feels kind of floaty. I like, uh, I really like the lighting we've got going on. There we are. Finally a clear connection. I'm assuming I'm going to shoot these. Okay, yeah. Oh, 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 the game crashed. All right, game is not representative of the final product. Here we go. Okay, well, it, uh, it doesn't seem to have crashed now so it might have been a one-off it's a demo it's an early demo not representative just want to be want to be clear about these things because you know it could be a me a problem Sprint, begin sprinting stop or jump to cancel Ooh, creepy shadow. Come back here. I want something to shoot at. There are a drift nearby. Don't be deceived by those still with a human form. Their souls have been consumed by the scourge that rots this place. Is this cool crystals to mine? Collect. Uh this is an entry? I, I thought that the, that was going to be something I can collect. I'm sorry I'm skipping past entries and stuff in like journals, but um, I'm really just kind of interested in the in the, the gameplay for now. And uh, you know, if I cover this game legit or play it, do a playthrough for a series or something, I will do the storyline a bit more thoroughly. Oh yeah. Yo, these zombies got butt cheeks. I kind of have like a Doom 3 vibe. So you can lock on. 
um which is interesting because it kind of it kind of like completely undermines the whole like aiming part of a first person shooter um but that being said it might be that the reason we're doing that is because you you might notice there's like you know projectiles and i do know that the, this game gets quite bullet helly so it might be that locking on is a, is a mercy that they offer the player so that you can focus more on dodging and moving around projectiles i ooh, oh god i do hope that um they give you uh like not say a warning but indication that something has spawned behind you because it seems like they're not shy about doing that having something spawn behind you i i really like the style they're going for here it looks really cool i probably should have warned you about the mother eyes network yeah yeah you should have oops, oops. okay The, uh, seems like we're going for a, like, semi-ironic kind of horror vibe. I don't- I haven't felt the need to reload. I guess the shooting is, like, on a cool, uh, cooldown, in a sense. Like, if you look at the bottom left, I can, like, build up pressure. Can I shoot that? I can shoot that. Oh, that's what- I have to shoot that to open the door. Interesting. What are we doing in here? More entries for me to collect. But it won't let me. Okay. What do we got going on here? Ooh. There isn't much salvage left here, you know. All the useful technology was taken a long time ago. Are you a prisoner? Are you a prisoner? No. I am a relic of different times. I envy you surface dwellers. These depths grow stifling after a while. I can't recall when I last saw moonlight. A relic of different times? A relic of different times. We create time where none exists. It has no material meaning. No worth with which to measure. Everything that is exists only as the sum total of what was and what is yet to come. As the snake swallows its own tail, so time swallows itself. You see. I do really like the voice acting. It's it's really, really competent. I'm I'm getting kind of like soulsy vibes from uh, this world building. Forgive me. All he has to do is I let out like a very often these days. a soft laughter, and then and then we're, we're we've got a complete picture here. We've even got a bonfire. But please tell me, what brings you to these decaying halls? I'm looking for a piece of technology, something called a shield breaker. I'm looking for a piece of technology, something called a shield breaker. That's what I said. Oh, I see. So the automated detection system is still in working order. I use an old workshop not far from here. I think what remains of your shield breaker can be found there. Follow the path through this tower and cross the pipes that grow. Thank you. Take care, young scout. I'm really appreciating a lot of the polish in this game. The music, look and style, kind of unique flavor. Um, I, you know, like, I, I don't, uh, oh, can we, like, climb? There's, like, a weird, like, kind of step up there. Um, I don't think so. I think that was a mistake. This is all, all doing it for me. All we need is, like, really, really good, like, kind of moment-to-moment gameplay, and, uh, I'm sold on this. And so far, it's good. But uh, I haven't really seen enough of it to make up my mind. So far, I might say there's a bit too... Like, I know this is like the introduction to the game, so... Not necessarily... Gonna mean much, but I'm... There's a lot of crawling through pipes and moving around. 
in this like overworld area there that seems to me like a secret i that's exactly where i would put a secret if i was a developer heck yeah what is that i don't know i don't know what i uh, did i get that did, i sh it didn't seem to be any way to uh, uh, like claim it Are they, uh, I think it's called speculative lighting on the, on the pipes is really nice. Oh, well, I guess I got what I asked for. Is there anything behind me? I gotta check. Is there... Oh, more? I think I'm supposed to just, like, move up. I appreciate the like kind of consistency of patterns in terms of the projectiles so you, you don't have to do a lot of guessing you know not sure where i'm going now i feel like this is where i came from oh okay over there there we go doesn't seem to be fall damage maybe that's even there to let me know that uh oh There's a bar on the top. I'm, I'm wondering if there's like a level up system. Seems to be building slowly. Press C while sprinting to slide. Wee. I do like a slide. Wee. Ooh. That seemed dangerous. You're handy with a rifle, aren't you? Your records say you grew up in New London. A sinful place, according to the old father. This is not a place of honor. <laughs> no! Uh oh. Anyway, it seems you have a clue from that disconnected about the shield breaker's location. But be mindful. Not everyone you meet in the abyss will be so kind. Don't know how much uh, platforming we're going to be doing in this game. I wanted to get this, even though I'm not going to read it. I still wanted to get it. This is not a place of honor. Well, that, that body that was hanging out there kind of looked like my body. I'm wondering if there's some kind of like... Oh, yeah. And they even mentioned that time is basically not a thing. It's like a... It's, it's just a construct. I'm wondering if uh, there's some like time loopage going on in this world. I myself have done made this trip many many times and I'm just kind of re reworking the kinks out of my uh, perfect loop so what do we got here jump pad we we uh we where am I going Oh, over here. Am I going back down the pipes? A lot of, lot of crawling around on pipes so far. Enemies? No, that looks like uh, my shield breaker. I mean, nothing bad can happen when there's a room with a glimmering item in the middle and uh, not much else going on. Nothing, nothing bad can happen. Shield breaker the abyss provides. Press left mouse button to fire a shield breaker charge and destroy shields. Okay. Hold left alt to open weapon wheel and switch weapons. Gotcha. Um, we're good. Um, we're good. Y you can. Okay, thank you. Well done, folks. Your sentence has been reduced by ten days. Nice. 
Oh, interesting. So this thing has a much more aggressive cooldown. Like you, you can only fire so many shots before you probably have to switch weapons. I don't know how I feel about alt for weapon switch. I also don't really like those icons. They're not very readable for uh, trying to figure out um, what weapon I have selected. Is this anything? I'm assuming they're telling me about... Oops, okay. Okay, that was something. I'm wondering if I can't open doors with my shield breaker. I'm also wondering if they're going to introduce some enemies with shields, so I have to like hit them with one gun and then switch. Okay, you can open doors with a shield breaker. Ah. Yeah, see, I, I thought that I selected the right gun, but I didn't. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I might change the gun, the, the button for um, switch weapon. You can still lock on. Ooh. This is pretty good so far. The flow um, breaks a little bit when you're switching weapons. Just a little bit. I'm not sure how one would fix that. It feels kind of stiff right now. Can I? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. Can I shield break them? Seems like you should be able to do something with those crystals. I don't know what. I'm also starting to feel a little bit lost. Like some of these environments are, are feeling a little samey. Mother warned me about you. You, you, you shouldn't be here. You, you, you need to leave. Wondering if we're going to be able to upgrade our weapons in the future. I like the uh, the way those um, enemies kind of swirl their bullets out. It makes like dodging really satisfying. Uh oh. One one shot, one one kill on the with the shield breaker. It's basically acting as a shotgun. So it doesn't just like you, you don't just need different weapons for different enemies, but also they're more effective. Oh, first boss. Or just maybe a tougher enemy. Celebrant of Manny. To be killed on sight. Okay. Yeah, so that, uh, that lock-on is very much a mercy. You, you're, you're gonna be glad you have it when you don't have to worry about aiming and shooting but i'm i can see some people ignoring the lock on in favor of like a more intense gameplay um that was a close one was it rumor has it they were once the aristocracy of the old colony now they're as mindless as the rest Okay, this is feeling a little bit different. I expect a lot of environments are going to feel like this kind of like red, black, white. But this feels, this does feel very different. This is good. Oh, wow. Nice little touches here and there. Goopy. Nice.
You know, is the whole... Is everything we just, like, came from about to be crushed? Oh, that's actually wild. Did we just, like, kill the man, the only person that we... that, that helped us? Because it really feels like we just crushed the entire prologue. That's it, huh? Well, I mean, that's very promising. I gotta say, I, I really like what I'm seeing with this game. And I, I'm, I'm like, honestly, I think that this, um, what I'm seeing here, it has a better chance to hold me than uh, some of the more recent, like, Doom entries did. Um, it's, it's a little bit faster paced. I know there were some very fast paced moments in Doom, but uh, I think I just appreciate this world a bit more. Um, it, it's a little bit more abstract, but um, it's not so, it's not just like weird for the sake of weird. It actually seems to have some um, cohesiveness between its environments, if that makes sense. Like the fact that they actually had showed a purpose for all of those pipes and piston like things that I was walking on um, does a, a lot to make it a bit more interesting than just like, yeah, I mean, this is just a pipe world. Um, and I, I do like the enemy designs. They're a little generic, but um, I, you know, it's hard to come up with something super original, but uh, I, I, I like I like it. It's, you know, you're, you're shooting something. I, I really, that's all I, I care about is like shooting things and um, having some like interesting kind of obstacles to dodge around. Um, I do wonder if they'll have like upgrading guns. Uh, I assume they're gonna have more than more weaponry, so that should that should be fine. Little a few kinks here and there to work out, but this is obviously a very er early version. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking what I see here. So, Luna Abyss, short demo, short video, but um, I'm, I'm glad I played it and I hope you enjoyed it. If you've played it, and uh, then let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you enjoyed this video, certainly hit that like button. Uh, and maybe consider subscribing if you are new to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.